All right, boys and girls, good day. Today, I'm gonna do an update video because I'm just fucking around, okay? First thing, okay, first thing. I got this thing, right? So this is my other, this is the next car, right? So <clears throat> it's a 3 to 3 i nice, very good. I didn't grab the keys from my house, but black leather interior, it has that phone. I don't know if you can see it, a factory phone, it's kind of jokes. It's manual and it has like limo chain in the back, which is sexy. X3 wheels, one style 148, I think, with one, two one five fifty seventeen. Very sexy size, as you can tell. But if you're an OG, actually, I don't even think you lot have seen that video. It's not out, but I might put it up anyway. Um, to be fair, that's a shout. I might actually just do, oh my God, I could do a comparison video. Holy shit. So basically, all of my close friends, you lot remember when I did the fucking review video on, on my mom's ex-boyfriend's 320. Um, anyway, but yeah, so I got a pre-facelift SE W reg, so that's 2000 The BMW logo is missing, but it's okay. It looks cute Anyway, so this car is sick. Um, I got it for a really good deal. It's clean as fuck. There's no rust It's like super sexual like mad sexy. I mean, there's this but like that's like that's literally it on the entire car So this is my next project except I don't even think I'm gonna do anything to it gonna sell it as is just for I show you guys because um you know I was gonna do that and fucking build all these cars on the channel but apparently oh the reason I got an E46 right I think the E36 market is just it's gone to shit like there's no more E36s anywhere there's no like the if I was to find an E36 it's like a, a fucking 316 auto four door with like grey interior and it just looks shit so Whatever. I just had to get an E46. But I think what I'm going to do next time is not get an E46 and just wait for the right E36 because E46s are annoying and the market for them is weird. So, next thing, update on this, yeah? I was going to do a video on how to do cool aero and like reveal some secrets. But I just, yeah, I'm just fucking shit, man, you know? So, I'm going to just show you what I've done and then just call it good. Um, so, I've got mismatch wheels right now, but don't worry about that because essentially, <laughs> basically, I'm just an idiot, right? Um, so I got, I got fucking, I think they're ET35, the fronts. You you saw them in another video, I think. The white uh, Advance, the white free spokes, they were in the front. They weren't mounted properly. The car was just sitting on them, so it was stupid. Anyway, ignore these style 66s. I got them for a really good deal, uh, and I'm probably just gonna put them on another car that I'm gonna sell on later on, um, regardless. So I got new adapters for the 8J Advance that are gonna go instead of these. And essentially the deal with them is they're ET, so 17 by eight ET35 with a five by one, one, four point three um, bolt pattern. So I need adapters because my car is five by 120, right? BMW. And uh, so what happened with that is, um, I got 15 mil ones to bring them to ET20, as you would, because that makes sense to do that. Um, and ET20, I know it fits properly, especially with an 8J. Like that's kind of the setup I've always ran, basically, in the front with my arms and all of that, because I've got 50 mil arms. Whatever, you lot know myself. But the 15 mil adapters were just spacers with with 10 holes drilled in them. Two are five by one, uh, four, five of the holes are five by 120, and the other five are the jack pattern, right? But what the fucking guys didn't tell me yet is that when you put the space, when you put the adapter on and then you, when you, when you're going to use the factory bolts, right? Because they didn't come with any different bolts or any studs. When you use the factory bolts, the factory bolt is actually longer than the 15 mil adapter. So what happens is if you've got the adapter bolted onto the hub and then you put a bolt through it, the bolt comes out the other side and lifts the adapter up but only to where the bolt is. So essentially the adapter ended up looking like a fucking, like a sea, man, like a wave, dude. So uh, it just got warped and I messaged them. I'm like, yo, your shit is fucked up. What's going on here? And they're like, ah, oh, yeah, you used it. So fuck, you know, whatever, fuck that. I got my money back off them because they didn't instruct, whatever, doesn't matter. So what I've decided now is actually because of Raza, 
you guys know him in it with the red mx5 he's my g so he was like oh my god why don't you get the normal 20 mil ones and i'm like oh but that's gonna bring my wheels to et15 they don't fit in the front that way and he's like why don't you just add more camber and i'm like oh my god this is the most genius thing i've heard in my life so that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> uh what's gonna happen is i'm gonna get the 20 i've already ordered them actually can you believe that what so I'm going to get the same adapters that I've got in the rear. You can see them, these black ones, which are 20 mil and they are already stud converted. Um, ignore these shit, okay? It's stupid right now. Whatever, I'll talk about it separately. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to put the same adapters in the front and I'm gonna, my wheels will be ET15, but that will mean more clearance for my shit. But when I put camber, they will fit under the arches properly and look all right, I hope. And then my car would drive a bit differently but i was looking and at full lock i've got positive camber anyway so if i do a little bit more negative camber static uh as in like straight wheels when when i'm at lock i will have like flat contact patch which would be sexy i'm never really at lock anyway uh or i like to think so <laughs> um but yeah i think it will drive us slightly differently uh but either way it'll be blessed bro whatever oh so the other thing that's wrong with this car yeah it ba I think the alternator is fucked up from sitting about uh, because you know this car sat for like four years oh I did drive it by the way I was meant to say that I drove this car um oh yeah check this out <laughs> don't worry about it man <laughs> totally cool man no rust dude and totally straight freaking roll arch man um and this is cute as well anyway don't worry, well, man's gonna repaint that eventually when he repaints the whole car still. Um, <laughs> what a fuck, yeah. So I think it's got a bad alternator and a bad math because um, when I unplug the math, right, it runs absolutely perfectly. Like it idles, I d like literally at like 800 and there's no like, <laughs> none of that shit. So it just has a bad math, I think. So I'm gonna find a good math or just clean mine and also i've gone through literally two batteries uh and i'm like this I, I put a new battery in it the car starts fine i drive it around for a little bit park it up go to start it again and it's just doesn't start it's like it's just bad battery so that happened to two batteries separate ones um they were both used batteries but i still think that it should have charged the battery when you drive the car because of the alternator uh, but I'm pretty sure mine is fricked up dude from the car sitting around man so I need a new one of those and I've also found out that guess what man the maths are M50 B25 specific sounds familiar kind of like the fucking power steering pump these engines are just long uh, long story short I'm basically gonna drive the fuck out of this uh, when it's drivable and I just want to blow up the engine so I can get a 328 and put it in here. I did have plans to do, to basically build a, on the side, to build a, um, arch. Oh my God. What up, man? You're on tape, dude. Whoa, shit, man. Fuck. <laughs> um, oh yes. <laughs> These are the wheels right here, man. You lot, you lot saw them anyway, the eight. Shut, cousin. What up, man? Archie. Anyway, that's my G. So basically the reason I'm inside the house all of a sudden is because my battery fucking died. I don't even know what the fuck I was saying, but um, basically this car just needs a bit of a, a little bit more love. And it's, I drove it and it fucking still drives absolutely perfectly. Um, I, had, I had to obviously send it a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, just went to a lock instantly and just dug out of it as you would. Anyway, so moving on to my other car, yeah the fucking gs300 so uh like in the fucking video i was saying oh yeah i need to change my tire profiles they're all different and wrong so i did that <laughs> because actually what i did was i went on like a pretty mental road trip week um i drove from here to bedford and back then to london then to nottingham then to leeds then to birmingham then back in one week um with vess and i was chilling with ben as well and drove around and what happened was i was driving on the motorway yeah and can you tell these fucking marks huh and you can see that i've got new tires dude <laughs> so essentially what happened was uh on the m1 between nottingham and leeds 
um, just my tire exploded bro I was doing 70 and next thing I know is I heard some slapping noises and I'm like cool bro I should probably slow down and pull over man so, uh, if I'm bothered I'll put an image but either way whatever so my 235 40 exploded um, and the other side was like so fucking worn away from camber um, to be fair all of my tires were worn because of camber so fuck having a stance car um, because of tire wear except I'm gonna make it lower anyway so I got all new tires all the way around so front is a 19 by 9 with a 225 35 19 um, this brand which apparently is kind of good and I've got them on the rear of the BMW to be fair I've got it all around on the BMW right now because these are um, these are just placeholder tires but they actually work really well these tires so if there's Toyo R888 this, the second hand ones that I got if they're not good enough then I'm just gonna run those in the front because they're all right and my mate Ben with a with the red coupe you lot probably know him if you're from the south um, he runs them all, all the way around and he's always been happy so um, I might just do that as well I'm not gonna lie fuck yeah yeah and then the rears are shout out to Adam yeah he's he's my uh, FedEx haha <laughs> Adam he's my tire broski and my mechanic broski who he's my G and he was like oh why don't you get 255 30s for the rear I'm like oh no man 255 is too wide blah 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 and he's like no just trust me so we put the 255 30 on there and it looks fucking mint mate it looks perfect tiny sidewall thick tire perfection so that's my setup right now man the rears are like part one shitty whatever because i don't care about rear tires um but the fronts are brand new so we're good dude we're gonna see how long they last because my alignment has fucked up again regardless i've just got fucking 15 minutes of chat and shit i lowered the front yesterday yeah and it's fucked <laughs> because what i did was i fucked with the spring preload and i gave it loads of preload and i shortened the shock length by lowering it which I don't know man like I spoke to HSD and they said that it should like when you lower it it shouldn't mess with the shock length and like it shouldn't be bottoming out but it still does so I'm not really sure what's up with that man the rears are decked and they're not bottoming out on anything so I don't understand but yeah the front basically what I need to do now raise the car up uh, loosen the spring down like get rid of the preload and extend the shock so like raise the car but because the spring is looser it should sit lower and then that should it should be able to let me sit at the same ride height but give me more like shock length and it shouldn't be bottoming out on like the tiniest bump like I literally feel like I've got this much like shock play not play but I don't even know what the fuck this is called like shock stroke shock stroke that's the word man also these are getting rebuilt like i said i've definitely decided these lips are fucked and i want 10 j's in the front and i want 11s in the back so i'm just gonna rebuild i'm gonna just get new lips for them 11s in the back and 10s in the front or what i might do is just don't be a pussy and put the 10s in the front and just put 11 inch lips on the nines and put them in the back oh my god um Anyway, I don't know. I need to calculate all the offsets and stuff like that first before I do that, but that would make more sense. So, I'm going to now get on with sorting out these, this. I want to tell you that this is going to be driving again very soon. Um, at, what I'll do is actually, yeah, when I fully put it back on the road and I'm actually driving it, what I'll do is I will make a video like uh, the way I did for the Lexus, you know? Dude talks about his E36 drift car for 20 minutes video. And that will be freaking great, man. So thank you for watching this. I don't know what the purpose of this video was. Just chat and shit update video. I feel like I had to tell someone about this, all of my shit.